The search goes on for more suspects in the mass shooting late Saturday night in Fairfield Township, Cumberland County. Meanwhile, we are learning more about the two victims who were killed. Action News reporter Bob Brooks is live at the New Jersey State Police Bridgeton Barracks. And Bob, what have you learned tonight? Well, Jim, I can tell you one of the victims was just a young nurse, 25 years old, and tonight her co-workers are absolutely devastated. It's a picture nurse Tiffany Kowalczyk will cherish forever. She has her arm placed on her co-worker, but more importantly, one of her close friends, 25-year-old Asia Hester of Bridgeton. It was the last photo they'd ever take together. That's because Hester is one of the two victims who were shot and killed in the mass shooting at this home in Fairfield Township late Saturday night. Kowalczyk says the two work together at the Jefferson Health in Washington Township. The workers there have even made this memorial there in Hester's honor. Kowalczyk also sent us this statement about Hester, quote, she would selflessly travel all the way from Bridgeton to Washington Township to work with the sick and elderly. She would clean and bathe them as they were her own family. Asia truly had a heart of gold. It's hard to even put it into words, but she wasn't just a victim. She was so much more to everyone that loved her. She was an angel that our world doesn't deserve. The second victim who has died has also been identified as 30 year old Kevin Elliott, also of Bridgeton. This was a birthday party that had turned deadly. Today, New Jersey law enforcement officials say they've made one arrest so far in the case. He's been identified as 36 year old Kevin Dawkins of Bridgeton. This was not a random act of violence. This was a targeted attack. Officials say hundreds of people were in attendance at the party when a gunman came through the woods and started firing into the crowd. The additional 12 victims range in ages 19 to 35, including men and women. Multiple firearms and shell casings were recovered from the scene as well. We are appealing to anyone who in the community who was at the party to come forward. Now, Jim, at this point in the investigation, police, state police here have not released a motive for this mass shooting. Now, reporting live, Bob Brooks, Channel 6, Action News, Jim. Thank you, Bob.